Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, you will learn how to use fill series in Microsoft Excel. I will explain each and every feature of the fill series and how you can use it in your daily work. I'll explain step by step in this video. So please watch this video till the end. So friends, fill series is used to fill the quick numbers, dates. Let me give you the example here. Let's say we want to fill the serial number quickly. Although there are a lot of way to fill the serial number. Let's say here I have put the one and then I want to fill the serial number in this selection. Then I'll quickly the shortcut key Alt E I S and I will hit the enter. Automatically you can see the serial number is filled in the selected range another shortcut key i'll tell you let me read these numbers we have only one here and let's select some range wherein you want to fill the serial numbers and then press alt h f i s and then again this series window will be opened you don't need to do anything here just hit the enter and then the serial number are filled in the selected range okay now i will explain the other features of fill series this is the method to create the quick serial number first how we can apply the steps steps means let's say here i'm putting five now i want to put the number adding the five here means here it should be 10 then here it should be 15 like this go to this five and press alt e i s to open the fill series window and we want to fill the series here in the column so just select the columns because we want to fill in this column not in rows and now here you can see the step value so step value i want to take the step of 5 each time it will add 5 stop value let's say i want to fill this till 100 and just click on ok so as i have clicked and quickly you can see we have the number till 100 here okay Similarly for the serial numbers also let's say if you want to put the serial number till 10,000 or 50,000 then press alt e i s and then step value let's put here 1 because we want to take the one step each time like 1, 2, 3 and then, then stop value I want to put here 50,000 make sure you have selected columns here because we want to fill the value in the column not in rows so click on ok. Now, if I will go down here, you can see we have the serial number till 50,000. Okay. And if you want to fill the serial number in the rows, I'll tell you how you can fill it. Let's put here 1 and then Alt E I S. And let's say I want to put till 10 step 1. And here I'm selecting rows. Click on OK. So if I will select the rows, here you can see it is going till 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 till 10. Okay. So automatically it has filled in the rows. So it is row number 4. Now the growth part, how we can use the growth? This is the linear part. We are adding in the linear. Each time this is step, we are adding 5, 10, 15. But in the growth, we will do the multiply. For example, here let's say we have 1. Okay. And I have selected this range and let me press Alt E I S. And here in place of linear, in the type, I will select the growth. And growth I want to say okay a growth of 10 and uh, we have already selected the range otherwise you can put the stop value so you don't need to put the stop value because we have selected the range click on okay so here you can see each time it is multiplying by 10 okay so it's a multiplication basically let me show you one more example let's say here I am putting 3 I have selected this range or EIS I want to take the step of 4 growth click on ok so here you can see 3 multiply 4 which is 12 12 multiply 4 48 48 multiply 4 uh, 192 and then multiply 4 multiply 4 so in each uh, row we are doing the multiplication of the steps okay so that is called the growth now it is very useful while you are adding the dates let's say we have put here first Jan 2022 and quickly you have to fill the dates for the entire month so let's select this range let's say till here and i'm quickly using alt e i s and enter so here you can see the data are filled quickly okay what we are trying to do let me select this range and press alt e i s 
this fill series window is open here automatically because we have selected the range automatically it is selecting these columns because it's a date so automatically the type is date okay you don't need to change this step by default it will take one so if you will hit the enter automatically it will fill the dates all right now what if you want to fill only big day big day means let me add here one new column big day means we will not include saturday and sunday if i will put the text function here text and let's take this value and format uh, let's say dd dd so that we will get the name of day and let's fill this down let's say here i am filling the same method let's take here this date here and use alt e i s enter we have the dates here we have here saturday so let's start with third chain from monday let's remove this and fill this all e i s enter so we have monday tuesday wednesday and then uh, friday these two dates here let me highlight this we have saturday and sunday because we are taking the linear and then we are selecting day by default it will be day so let me show you let's delete this and let's select this range alt e i s by default date unit is day and we are hitting the enter okay so it is taking all the dates so let's highlight this is saturday sunday then here we have this saturday sunday all right weekday means it should not consider the date of 8th chain, 9th chain, similarly for the 15th chain and 16th chain. It should consider only days from Monday to Friday. Alright, so let's delete this and let's select this range. Press Alt E I S and here in place of day, we will select big day and just hit, hit the enter or click on it. Now here you go. You can see in this list we don't have Saturday and Sunday. In place of Saturday, Sunday, it is taking Monday and Tuesday. Means after seventh Jan directly it is taking tenth. Similarly, in this case, after fourteen, which was Friday, it is taking seventeen. All right, so it is taking the big day only. Now let's say, friends, if you want to add first date of the month, so here we have first Jan twenty twenty two. All right. Now we want to put here first Feb 2022. Similarly, we want to add the first March. So quickly, what we can do? We can select the range, press Alt E I S, press Alt M, or just select the month and then hit the enter. It will take the same date of the next month. We are adding every time one month here. Similarly, if you want to add the year, let's say here I'm putting first Jan 2020. And let's select this range, press Alt E I S and then select the year and click on OK. So every time it is adding one year, 21, 22, 23, 10, 35. Alright friends. So friends, that is how you can use quickly fill series option. If you want to fill the quick dates and the quick serial number, it is quite easy. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Friends, if you like this video, please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos. Thank you so much for watching.